Good morning, YouTube. My name is Will. Enzo. Lotus. Happy Friday. Friday morning here. This video is going to go up this afternoon or this evening. So it'll still be Friday. You know, I quit working like a 9 to 5 type job a few years ago, but Fridays still have that like special feeling even to me. I suppose my subconscious won't let that go that Friday is a, is a special day. What you want to do on Friday? Yeah, I go to the parky, I know. How about you? No, we're not going to multiple parks. No. Why not? Well, because I got things to do. No, that's not true. I do have a job. So Fridays, we're, we're doing these 5-Minute Friday videos where we just take a topic that gets asked a lot and just try to focus in on it. Break. Jeez. Whole wide open field. And you almost run into me. How is that even possible? Like a moth to a flame. So anyways, uh, the topic we're going to be covering today is food. Now, I'm not going to tell you what you should feed them. There's a lot of conflicting data for human diets, let alone pups. So all I can do is tell you what we do. And you can either do what we do or you can take parts of it or adapt your version or, you know, maybe get some tips out of it. But we're going to go over the food. We're going to go over the supplements. We're going to go over CBD, our frequency, and like how we store it and all that sort of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this 5-Minute Friday video. Like the video, subscribe for more German Shepherd content. But let's get into it. You ready to get into it? Enzo? 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 Waiting on you, buddy. We use Gentle Giants. Enzo gets about six cups a day, about two cups for breakfast, one cup for lunch, one cup for secondary lunch, and about two cups for dinner. I say about because we do mix in a little bit of soft food with it, but it's a nominal amount. Lotus gets about five cups a day. He gets a cup and a half for breakfast, a cup for lunch, cup for second lunch, and a cup and a half for dinner. Again, mix in with a little bit of soft food. Now, Lotus has always had Gentle Giants. Enzo actually had Royal Canaan when we first got him, and then uh, we switched to something else very, very briefly. Uh, and then Gentle Giants. Technically, the breeder had him on something else that we obviously shifted him off pretty quickly. All right, another short video. Their food prep. Now, for lunches, I just do a cup, typically of dry, nothing else. But breakfast and dinner get different. Breakfast. Enzo gets two cups. This measuring cup, the way it's designed, if I don't go a little bit above, it's not actually a cup, despite what the line says. I've measured it separately. Lotus gets cup and a half. We use Dasaquin. We give that to them with their breakfast, and then we give them four squirts of fish oil, two with breakfast, two with dinner. That's also the other reason we like to mix soft food in. It just kind of makes that a little bit the texture a little bit better, I guess. So until they get six months, they really shouldn't be doing any type of supplements. Lotus, buddy, it's okay. Regardless, you should consult with your vet before doing anything. And then they both get a Dasaquin, which all this stuff is linked in the Amazon store, which is below, the first link below. All right, and then they each get two squirts. They get two squirts at breakfast, two squirts at dinner. Come on, Lotus. So as I mentioned, we do mix in a little bit of soft food. Some pups prefer a little bit wetter food, some don't. It's really just your preference. I don't, you know, there's water in it anyways and they're drinking tons of water, so giving them a little bit of extra water with their food doesn't matter. I mean, it'd be like if you were gonna dip your french fries in water and eat it. I don't know how it would taste, but you could do it. All right, cold food, or wet food. I used the last of it last night. We need to get a fresh can. The soft food, the way it is, see, it's coming drier now, and I've gotten three separate cases to be sure, because at first I just thought something was wrong, and they've all been like this, and they smell fine. Like, it smells fine. So what I do now is a little helping. The thing is, I, I did the math one time, like, 
to give them a diet of just soft food, I'd go through, I don't know, like an entire case a day or something or probably more. It was so much that it's like, what I'm giving them here doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, my hand slipped. Okay, don't give that much water. That's gonna be really wet. That's still probably too much. So what I do is I take the Dasaquin out when I mix it. And I do that because I do that because one, they like the Dasaquin, so I don't have any trouble getting them to take it. But two, it makes it easy for me to find in case they decide not to eat it, not to eat the meal. All right, truthfully, Lotus probably needed a little bit more soft food and obviously Enzo needed a little bit less water. Just wanted to pull the camera back out real quick. I do have lids for them. And then once it's open, it goes in the fridge. So as many of you know, Lotus here in front of me, I don't know if you can see him. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You got, what are you trying to do? So he's anxious over a lot of things. A lot of you who have pups with similar demeanors have reached out to us on our thoughts on CBD oil. We do use it with Lotus. Uh, we are currently on our third iteration of it that we just recently started. I'm thinking we'll do an entire video on that. We do have a vlog when we first got the CBD oil, which I can link below. We switched from the oil to a cookie because we were having trouble getting him to eat it because you weren't supposed to mix it with food. Sometimes he would eat it, sometimes he wouldn't. It was just this like battle. So we switched to the cookies. Those were better sometimes, but not always. So now we've got this new kind that we can actually mix in the food, which is good, but now I'm learning the bad thing is if he decides not to eat that meal, so that's creating its own little issues. The short answer is yes, we do use CBD oil with Lotus. Hey, we're not biting the concrete, no. No. We're not gonna have to get fake teeth. And then Lotus gets, well, we're gonna switch back to CBD oil, but for now, got the remainder of the cookies. Um. I don't know that it matters if I break them up. The wifey is convinced that it does. I'm not so sure. We would not suggest free feeding, so that's just where you leave food out. Generally for any pet that's not healthy, we want them to be on set schedules. It makes life easier for us, makes it easier for them. Plus if they're free feeding, while shepherds are pretty good, some pups could overeat. So as I mentioned, they get four meals a day. I used to actually do up to six when they were puppies. It's not uncommon for them to skip a meal though, especially the midday meals, one or two of them, just kind of whatever. So I give them about 10 to 15 minutes and if they don't eat it, they don't eat it. In a related topic, water should always, always, always be available. Clean, fresh, regularly clean drinking water. They should always have access to that. Not having access to water, feeling dehydrated, that can create stress. You don't want that, that's not good for them. If you want to try to minimize the spills, we do have a water bowl we can suggest. You'll see it in the video clip. Uh, it's in the Amazon store. It's not perfect. There's no complete solution to them not spilling water because they'll just carry it in their mouth and drop it. But this is the best that I've found so far. All right, boys. And then they have their water bowl. We have another one of the exact same kind. So that way, every couple of days, I can throw this in the dishwasher and just get out the fresh one versus having to like them not have water up here for a few hours or get one of their other bowls that's prone to spill more. We keep two bowls downstairs. We don't keep two up here because they don't generally like come upstairs really thirsty. We get all that out of the way downstairs. And that is the food process. Oh, good boy, Lotus. If Lotus doesn't eat, I take his cookies out. Sometimes I'll take, if he doesn't eat much of it all, I'll put the whole thing in a Ziploc, put it in the fridge and give it to him at lunch. So this has been another five minute Friday. If you guys are enjoying these type of videos, let me know in the comments. I think we're gonna do them most weeks, at least for the foreseeable future. Assuming you guys like them, continue to get some usefulness out of them. Otherwise, appreciate you guys as always. We are still doing stickers for Hera. So information below, if you'd like to donate to Hera, we'll send you some free stickers. Otherwise, hope you guys have a great weekend and we will see you guys on the next video. I'll say bye. I'll say bye. Hi, Bubba. I know. Really? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, thank you. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing with that paw? Now look at my shorts, they're all dirty. Oh my gosh. Slobber on me. Awesome. What, buddy? Break.
This way. Owie. Go on. Oh, pop, pop. Oh, pop, pop. <laughs> 